We are good. We are live. And make me a co-host. Make me a co-host, OK? Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I think we are live, and we want to welcome everybody here to our Investors Club at Your Home Sold Guaranteed Realty. Yes, welcome to Your Home Sold Guaranteed Realty. We are like every fourth Thursday of the month. Remember, every fourth Thursday of the month, you can count on us being here, giving you, I mean, some something that nobody else is offering out there. We want to help you beyond just buying one house. We want to make sure that you have the best financial situation for you and your family. And today we have a special guest. Yes, we have a special guest. His name is Patrick Ramirez. Patrick Ramirez is uh, my personal friend, my client, and he uh, happens to be someone who has, you know, this specific education and license to tell us what he's gonna share with us about investing, okay? And many of you probably are not aware of some of the stuff that, that you're gonna to hear today. And if some, something about it, you know it, well, you will now make it a little more detailed. So Patrick, welcome. And I want you to take over from now on and, and tell us what you have for us today. First of all, tell okay. us who you are, what do you do and so on, and then, Take it over. All right, let me see if I could share my screen here. And let's see here. Do, 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 do. All right, are you able to see that there? Yes, yes. Tell All us right. about yourself so, first. Please. So far, so good, right? Okay, my name is Patrick Ramirez. And first of all, thank you, Hugo, for inviting me um, you know, to your to your investors club. Um, you know, I'm a, a FINRA registered representative. Um, from the from the local Inland Empire area. So basically just what that means is, um, you know, I help families open up IRAs, Roth IRAs, or um, invest in non-qualified accounts. Um, people that um, maybe they're retiring, they don't know where to put their money. I, I show them where to move their money so that they can have a better monthly income and still keep their money protected. So pretty much anything to do with that. Um, I'm also licensed in the life insurance industry and um, now also have my loan license, but we're going to focus on the investment part of the business today. And I, I really appreciate you inviting me over and hope I can uh, bring some value and answer some questions for you guys. Okay. So, um, you know, the first thing, you know, I, I, you know, I would talk about, and I usually talk to people about is, you know, the, the three biggest industries in the world, right. The, the three largest money-making industries, um, you know, I'll, I'll start in the middle there is, you know, we have the insurance industry and it's like, you know, I don't know if you watch the Super Bowl, but like every other commercial out there was, you know, uh, Jake from State Farm or uh, Flo or, you know, uh, um, you're in good hands, right? Every, every other commercial out there because people are putting insurance on everything, right? They've got home and auto insurance. Um, we've got health insurance. Um, people are insuring their phones, their big screen TVs. Um, they're even coming out with pet insurance, right? <laughs> but the, the way this relates to, to ours is, uh, you know, one of the biggest investments I talk to people about, and I'm not going to dive too deep, but is um, the life insurance. And the only reason being is, you know, when you have a homeowners and, um, you know, it's a, it's a, sometimes it's a couple, husband and wife, and they both have an income coming in. Um, if something happens to one of them, the mortgage payment doesn't go away, but the income goes away. So that's why, you know, we make sure it's really important that um, they're protected with the life insurance. So something happens to them that they're taken care of. Um, the other big industry, uh, like we're talking about here is the investment industry. Um, you know, many, many people have uh, only 401k plans, um, but they're not really getting educated by somebody at work. It might just be somebody in HR that says, oh yeah, pick this plan or whatever, but there, there's nobody, license there helping them and show them um, where to get the better growth opportunities with their 401k plans uh, and then on the other side of it there's a lot of people that are retiring but since nobody ever talked to them and showed them concepts about paying themselves first or uh, the rule of 72 a couple of concepts that we'll get into 
as they're retiring with not enough money. And what happens is, you know, they can only retire for a certain amount of years and then they end up having to go back to work, right? So that's why the investment industry, but there's, you know, trillions of dollars flowing through there, right? And then of course, the third biggest industry that's out there, and this is no particular order, um, is the, the mortgage industry. I mean, I'm sure I'm talking to, to you guys, um, everybody knows what's going on in the mortgage industry right now. Um, you know, I, I think I get a call like um, almost every other day, people are trying to buy my house because, you know, this thing's, you know, happening right now, right? Um, so one of, the, one of the first concepts that I've talked to you about is uh, basically how money works, right? Um, this is uh, most people, right? Uh, you know, they get paid and where, where do we put our money is we put it in the bank. Okay, and um, unfortunately, banks, credit unions, insurance companies, they're offering just a really, really low rate of return. Um, you know, I don't know if, if you've checked your savings account, but most banks are paying like a 0.05% interest right now. So it doesn't matter how much money you have in there, you see that little 15 cent dividend or, you know, it's a very, very small rate of return. So fortunately, you know, we do got to have our monies in the bank because that's where we send, you know, our, we pay our bills from, but it's not the best place to grow your money. Okay, so, you know, uh, the best place to grow your money is actually investing it in the global economy, right? Um, so, simple concept down here, you know, it's called the power of compound interest. And this is just a, a, an example of somebody that starts at age 30 to age 67, and they're putting uh, $200 a month away, which is, you know, just, just something that, that's affordable. And if they have their money, let's just say the bank's giving them a 3%, which we already just said they're not, um, you know, by age 67, they'd have 162,000 saved up, right? Extra 162,000. You know, if they found some place that was giving them a 6% rate of return, that same $200 a month, they'd have an extra 327,000, okay? And again, with a 9% rate of return, you know, this person talked to a professional, showed them, hey, you know, there's a better there's a better place to put your money that's, that's compounding interest a lot faster with the 9%. That same $200 a month, that person would have an extra $700,000 in retirement. Um, the, way, the way I usually talk to people about this is like, you know, if uh, I'm in a Pinto, okay, we're going to say, and Hugo's in a Lamborghini, and I'm a better driver than him, but me and him go racing, you know, there's, there's no doubt Hugo's going to beat me because he's in a better vehicle right? It doesn't matter how good I am, he's in a better vehicle. And that's what we need to talk to people about putting their money in a better vehicle. I mean, if there's a vehicle that's going to move your money faster to the end result, isn't that where you'd want to put your money? So, you know, that, that's, that's how I basically um, explain this. And, you know, Albert Einstein, you know, is quoted there as, you know, uh, compound interest being the most powerful force in the universe. Um, here's another concept here. Um, this is the rule of 72, and it tells you here, it's a simple calculation that gives you the approximate number of years it would take your investment money to double. So they, you know, they call this the banker's rule. Um, a lot of people don't, don't know it, um, you know, but it's a rule of thumb. I mean, so, you know, what you do is you take the interest you're getting and you divide it into 72. So if you're at the bank getting 1%, one goes into 72, 72 times, it's going to take your money 72 years it's going to double right so right here we're showing you three examples you know ten thousand dollars ten thousand dollars ten thousand dollars the way it works is three goes into 72 24 times so if you just put that ten thousand dollars there left it alone didn't touch it it would basically take 24 years for that money to double okay and then in another 24 years what happened it would double again Okay, then you got a uh, 6%, six goes into 72, 12 times. So same thing, even though six is twice as much as three, because it's compounding, you're gonna end up with about four times, you know, more, um, not, not two times more, you're gonna end up with four times more because your money's compounding, right? Um, and then again, or you could put it somewhere that's got a higher rate of return. Um, 12 goes into 72, six times. So your money would compound every six years. So, you know, I'm already in my, we'll say my mid to late forties. So I got a lot more six year periods left in my lifetime than 24 year periods. So I want to make sure I have my money somewhere that's compounding and growing a lot faster. Right. And so, you know, that's, that's um, one of, one of the biggest things I think, you know, they probably should teach people in high school, uh, but you know, but they don't. Right. 
most people most people don't don't know this um and uh right there at the bottom you know it is again it talks about you know one of the biggest investments people making is in life insurance and i'm just going to show you why is you know when we talk to people about building what's called a financial house right everybody everybody gets excited and they want to jump into the investments right away um but I, I say hey but what happens if something happens to you tomorrow you know you can start investing you can invest a thousand dollars a month but if something happens to you tomorrow your family's only gonna have a thousand bucks so for a hundred bucks you know we could put a couple hundred thousand to protect your family if something happens tomorrow the next thing we focus on is as um you know putting them on a budget and a will in case something happens then we focus on accelerating their debt because it's hard to save money for retirement and goals and dreams if they're busy paying somebody else 19 20 percent interest every month right if they're paying credit cards they're paying uh, you know high interest debt so you know we, we accelerate paying off their debt so that, that frees and that could be in the form of you know helping them refi their home free up that money or putting them on a, a debt stacking program but whatever it is you know when we free up that debt that allows them to start saving for retirement maybe school for their kids and of course, other goals and dreams like the 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 um, the, the fun house, you know, the fun property, the lake house, whatever they want to focus on, right? Um, this is a, a, an example. I put this together for somebody um, recently because you know, if, if somebody starts younger, obviously, um, it's, it's time in the market. You know, it's a lot harder to time the market, but time in the market. Um, this just so, shows somebody that um, start started age 22, putting $100 a, a month away. And I use a simple fund, which actually um, we don't show a fake hypothetical where it's just like a constant rate of return. We show how that thing reversed, you know, from, you know, if they would have the money in there, uh, we, we reverse the year. So they get, they get a real uh, hypothetical of how the market went, even like 2008, you can see right here where it dipped. Well, even through that time, just investing a hundred dollars a month, that person would have an extra $815,000 at retirement. Okay, and um, you know it's based on uh, right here. I think their their investment was like fifty some. The screen's in the way for me, but um, you know they they made five hundred and sixty six thousand dollars in dividends. You know the fees were like two thousand dollars over that time, but the but the account value at the end with the with the average rate of return of nine point nine six percent is an extra eight hundred and fifteen thousand dollars at retirement. So that's pretty good for somebody starting young and just putting a hundred bucks away a month, right? Um, the last concept that, you know, I'm really going to talk about is a dollar cost averaging. Okay. And, um, this is, uh, again, it's time in the market, not time in the market. And it shows two investors. Okay. It shows, a, a rising market. So that's like, you know, everybody wants to get in and invest when the market's going up versus a fluctuating market, which, you know, like, as you've seen on that chart, it always goes like this, it goes up, but it goes up, it goes down like two days ago. Everybody's like, oh my God, you know what's going on? And it, and then, you know, yesterday and today's, you know, popping back up. But so that's why it's important to put in a monthly because if you look here, I'm going to show you the first investor, investor A. Let's just say they're putting in hundred dollars a month. Okay. So month one, they're able to buy 10 shares with their hundred dollars, right? Month two, the stock's up to $12, as you can see here. So their hundred dollars is able to buy them eight shares. Little by little, it's going up. They're excited, right? They're excited because they're putting in their hundred dollars a month. At the end of six months, they put in six hundred dollars. Um, the shares are worth twenty dollars a share, and they accumulated forty-two shares. So they put in six hundred forty-two shares at twenty dollars. They have eight hundred and forty dollars. Okay, so they profited two hundred and two hundred forty bucks over that six months. But if you look at the investor in the fluctuating market, right? Um, which is what again what really happens is why we tell people don't panic keep putting money in even when it goes down you're just you're just buying it here on sale right same thing month month one they're able to get 10 shares okay month two month three month four um if you look at month three you know they're able to buy 25 shares with their hundred dollars because the stock is going down right and here's where, where people are ready to bail but i say hey, unless you're five years if you're close to retirement like five years don't worry about it you've got a long time Okay, they put in their hundred bucks here. They're able to get fifty shares, and then what happens? Then then the market comes back to ten dollars a share, and they're like, "Man, that was close. Let me pull my money out." And I say, "But look, look what happened over that six months. 
okay, you were able to uh, accumulate 126 shares worth $10 a share. So that guy doubled his money, his $600. Now he has 1200, you know, over $1,200 in his account, doubled his account. And uh, that's why it's important to, to do the consistent month to month investing because when, the, when it goes down, you, you catch those sales. I say, hey, it's on sale, right? Um, it's like if you were going shopping for clothes, you don't want to go shopping as the prices are going up. I and mean, sometimes you have to, but when you do this month, uh, dollar cost averaging, it guarantees that you're going to catch it on sale a lot of times. And so you, you, you get a better value in the long run, okay? Um, also, um, deal with large investments. You know, this is somebody... This, this is a great program for somebody who's got a lump sum um, over 50 years old and they want their money somewhere that's going to grow. But if the market drops, they're not going to lose any money. In fact, it guarantees them at least a 5% rate of return. And, uh, you know, I won't get too, too far into this, but this is a client, you know, that I helped last year that's retiring early and we put some money in an account where he's drawing a good amount of money off another account till he's 65. He's not going to touch this one till he's 65, but Last year in February, we dropped 360,000 in this account for him. And in a year, his, uh, he, he grew over 142,000. So he made more money because he was only making like 70 grand uh, a year. He made more money in retirement. He made 142,000 retired, you know, and he's been drawing on it. His, both of his accounts are worth more than when he retired. So these, you know, a lot of, a lot of great things that are, that are happening right now. Um, a lot of great programs that, um, you know, I, I help customize based on, you know, person's needs, their, um, you know, risk factors and stuff like that. Um, and um, again, this is, this is, you know, short presentation. Um, you know, this is, this is my information. Um, you know, I'm av available. My phone number's there. If anybody has any, any questions um, or ha has any interest and, and would like more information. Um, but if there's any questions, you know, that I can try and answer, um, certainly open to, and I hope, hope you guys got something out of that. Great, Patrick, I appreciate you taking this time. You obviously have brought a lot of information in such a short period of time. And I have some questions Mary? for clarification. <laughs> yes. All right, so. One, one, one question I have to begin with, um, if, if you don't mind putting back your uh, uh, financial home, uh, <clears throat> your financial house here. Yeah, I'm getting back there. And he's taking a couple of questions. Let me, uh, good for you to show. let me, these people here. Okay, now, um, what, what you said is so true if you are young or if you have um, and now I can open the top of what you, you have in your home, um, uh, you want to make sure that you're protected, right? Correct, correct. Because if, if you own uh, investment properties, if you own your house and something happens to your income, the next day or the next month, there is no money to pay. You're going to say goodbye to your properties, right? Right. Yeah. So that, that's something that really caught my eye. And when I was young, I was told this too. And as a matter of fact, I even have my, my uh, insurance license as well. <laughs> nice. And I bought insurance. And boy, that helped so much, you know, in, in having that peace of mind, you know, that peace of mind. And the, the other thing that also uh, uh, caught my eye is paying off debt. In this you know, environment that we are in, this consumer you know, em environment that we are in, a lot of people get into small little payments of every li you know, everything that at the end of the month, they don't have anything to save, right? right? So that's so important. And, and I talked about in a couple of uh, presentations ago, how to get out of debt. So if you, want to hear about it, you know, uh, make a comment there and we'll be happy to send you the link so you can learn for free how to get out of debt, okay? You don't have to pay anybody. It's simple. It's, right. it's discipline that you need to have. That's all, <laughs> all right? And then 
So now that you have, I want you to go back to the rule of 72. All righty. Now, this rule of 72 could be confusing for some people, but I want, I, want, I want everybody listening to us to get a clear picture. The rule of 72 is simply, how soon can you double your money, correct? Correct. That's the math. So remember, the rule of 72 is, how fast are you going to double your money? And how soon you can double your money depends on how high of interest of return you have, correct? Correct. Okay, so two concepts here. How soon are you gonna double it? Sure. Depends on how, how, much, how much is your uh, rate of return. Right. How much is your rate of return? Great, okay. So the counsel here is, you need to have a higher rate of return in order to double your money faster. Right. I don't know how to do that, Patrick. Where do I go? Okay, so, so for me, again, it's going to be based on the person's age, what the risk. I mean, I, I have several funds that I work with people, like a technology fund is doing really good right now, right? So what, what a fund is basically, um, when, you, when you invest in a mutual fund, okay, so let's just say you're putting $100 because I like round numbers, right? No more than 5% of your money goes to one company, meaning $5 will go to Apple, $5 will go to Microsoft, $5 will go to Amazon. So you're investing in all these technology companies that we know with the way technology is going right now, you know, people are going to automated cars, um, people are going to, you know, uh, robot arms cooking hamburgers, you know, uh, with the tech, you know, uh, self driving vehicles. T the technology funds are doing really, really good, but but we have them where they're balanced right so again, you know, I, I this is usually something I usually ask. Um, questions to who I'm to the person I'm helping and find out, you know, are you willing to have higher risk for greater potential return, moderate risk, um, or or um or income because then you know we we like I was showing you the dividends that that last fund had been right because then there's there's funds that pay dividends quarterly um, as well as annually. And what that means is when we're investing in these companies, right? We're part owners in all these companies when we start investing. When those companies are having really good quarters, really good years, they pay out dividends back to us investors, and that money gets back reinvested. So that's how that's how that money starts compounding, not only with the interest rate, but now we have those dividends going back in there working for us as well. Great. So um, yeah, I mean, I I have funds. You know, I, I work with uh, Invesco, Fidelity, Lake Mason, American funds. Um, okay. So a lot of the big companies. You're talking Chinese here. A little bit. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, these are just these are just big companies that I work with. That you know, and that's that's the great thing is we don't have to know this, right? Yeah, we're exactly. gonna we're gonna put it in a fund that's managed by a professional money manager, so okay. you don't have to watch it every day and worry about day trading and anything like anything like that. Um, we help people with steady growth. Okay. So the the answer is, I don't know. Call Patrick. He there knows what go. how to help. <laughs> I know he went into a little longer answer yeah. and right. got us lost. Don't worry about it. All you <laughs> need to know is, you know, <laughs> talk to Patrick and he'll direct you so you can get a higher rate of return on what you need to do. And, and people, this is so important because if you don't have money, you're not going to be able to buy what we're going to show you in a few minutes with Ellen and Barry. Ellen and Barry are ready to show us right now some in real, real estate investment opportunities that you cannot find in our area. Our area is so expensive, my goodness, that there are places where you can buy cheap property and rent it for a higher rental so you can have positive cash flow. And when you get this positive cash flow, don't blow it. Call Patrick and make it grow so you can buy more. See, we're giving you a complete package. You don't get this anywhere, but here at your home sold guaranteed realty. Okay, so I think those are most of the questions I have for you right now, Patrick. I'm gonna let um, Barry, who is with us as well. Barry, welcome all the way 
from the East Coast. He's still awake, you know, it, it's, it's night over there. <laughs> but uh, it was nice, nice of him to, to come and, and help us. He's going to show us He's going to show us some opportunities right now that he has in his market and how we can get involved. Barry, it's all I'm yours. Here. I'm here and I'm unmuted. So what Patrick said is helpful for my presentation because he's showing how a 12% return on your money can can increase your assets tremendously. However, I'm not talking about a 12% return on your money. Because of the, the magic of leverage, where you use mortgage money to uh, increase your money, to increase your profits, our, our returns are far higher than that. So let me give you a basic concept. Uh, if we're buying, and I'm talking about uh, right now, single family houses, and we're buying them at a 12 cap, and we all understand what a 12 cap is, right? 12 gross cap. What that means is that the rent that comes in is 1% of the value of the property, which is 12% a year. So that's a 12% gross cap. And you say, well, uh, you've got expenses. How can you make more of a, how can you even make 12% if you have expenses? Well, that is true. So let me explain how. So you have expenses. Let's say you're borrowing your, your money at three or 4% and you've got other expenses. I'm gonna generously say that your total expenses may add, add up to 6%. And you say, ah, ha ha ha, you're not making 12%, you're only making 6%. Well, no, that's wrong. What happens is if you have a 12 cap and your expenses are 6% on the 80% of the money, which you borrow from the bank, you're making 6% on the bank's money. And you're making, let's say, 8% on your money. So six times four, because the bank puts up four times as much money as you do, six times four is 24, and eight is 32. So we're not making 12% on our money. We're making 32% on our money. And if we have enough of these houses, uh, it doesn't take very long before we have made enough money to buy another one. And we keep multiplying the money at 32% rather than investing it with Patrick at 12 or, or, or whatever number he was talking about. So that's kind of the basic concept here. Now, uh, if you'll turn, if you'll let me show my screen, I'll show the houses that I have found. Oh, did you, did you background the, the MRIS? Yes, sir. Okay, uh, where is it? Rudy, if you can allow uh, our friend Barry to be a co-host. If you're still with us, please. Should I click, call it, should I click? Hugo, Hugo, have you given Barry the control? Can you let him share his screen, please? That's what I, we're trying to do. I, I gave all my control to Rudy. I don't know if Rudy's Pardon? listening. <laughs> Pardon me? Or he left. <laughs> I just recreate it here. No, you already had it. Oh, I already had it. All right, yeah. good. Because that's nice because that was already edited. Okay, so go I down. I show you what I have here that you sent. Is this what you wanted to show? It is. Hold on. Okay, well, here it is. Well, no, hold on. You what? can do something else. Go down here. Go down here. Uh, no, up here. Up here. No. Uh, <laughs> sorry. What? Um, Hugo, can you take that away? He'll, he'll do something better. Okay, great. Okay, so hit this. Share screen. Yes. Host, Host disabled participant screen sharing. Yeah. Um, if if you can't give it back to Barry, then he then, can. Then, then you can you can leave the thing so, and I can talk about the ho houses one by one. Yeah, but he can show more pictures if you. Uh... No, I think he can get all the pictures. I, I I can show a little more information though. Okay. Yes. And then because this is our MRS, I'm more familiar with it than you are. Mm. <laughs> you want me to share what I have then? Sure, let's do that. That'll okay. work. All right, then just minimize this. We'll minimize this again. Yeah. Here we are. Okay, yeah. so here we are. So 
Uh, here are, uh, and I can't scroll it. Okay. Here are 18 houses for sale and they're for sale between 98,000 and 150,000. And the rental values of these are um, between 1200 and 1500 a month. Now this last one, the 150 there, uh, that one I believe is a, uh, oh, that's, a, that's an online auction. That's not a real price, forget that one. Just take that, we'll just take that one out. Okay, so there are, there's, a, there's 18 houses that, uh, that, are, that are available and that will all rent between 1200 and 1500. I haven't looked through every picture of every house if we poke at these, I, I suspect that a few of them will end up throwing away, but they're all in acceptable locations. And um, so we're looking through some of them. That one, I think the house is actually in good shape, but it needs to be emptied. <laughs> or maybe that's the way the tenants are, are, are living if they're paying their rent, okay, God bless them. Uh, and if they're not paying their rent, we just need the house empty. And uh, you're just picking, pick a house, whatever house you want. They're, you're cheaper by the dozen. I've offered you 18. And the key thing is these are all in, in uh, decent areas and they all have a minimum of three bedrooms. That's a really, that's a big key on rental property. You want them to have at least three bedrooms. One of them is a house where they're getting only $800 rent, but they're also renting out the basement for another 700. <laughs> so uh, I don't know if that's a, a good situation or not. We, we might throw that one away, but uh, it's, it's something we could, it's worth looking at a little bit. And these, these are the kinds of things that, uh, and I haven't, I haven't even uh, searched every neighborhood that, that, was, uh, that was in the Goldilocks zone. And the Goldilocks zone, of course, is the area where they're cheap enough and the neighborhood's good enough and they pay enough and so you can make money. This look but, good. Yeah, the, you know, this one this one's renovated, you know, with nice tiles of owner quality condition. Tenants would love that. And so you can get uh about you said 1200 1300 dollars 12 rent? to 1500 dollars per house. And I've offered you 18 houses. So, so we could be talking about um, 20, 25,000 a month for it to bought the whole, whole lot. Yeah, so you, so you pay 150,000 for this home. And oh, then you get- Was that, that one, is that the one that's 150 or is that one of the ones that's 100? 147. 140, 147. Okay, 146. <laughs> Three bedroom, no. two bath, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 146. Okay, so the upshot of it is, um, a lot of the ones that are cheaper are about 1,200 feet. This one is 1,700 feet and it's got two bathrooms. So I would think that would be, uh, you know, more uh, more toward the upper end than the lower end on pricing. And I'm not guaranteeing it. Every single one of these is priced correctly. When we start poking in, we'll do a CMA on each property. We'll probably um, recommend lower prices on some of them. But the upshot of it is, even without my expertise, if you just went in and bought this whole lot at asking prices, you, you, you'd make money. But I think when, it, when I get through poking at it, you probably make, a, make a, some more money. Yeah, I mean, if we can find something at this price range over here, that, that would be impossible. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the reason why you can't, because it is impossible. Um, I have a niece, who lives in California and uh, she has a property that she bought for I think $200,000. It's now worth a million two and she's getting $4,000 a month rent on it. Yeah, this one she is- She almost doesn't owe any money on it. So she's making money every month, yay. I said, but but the problem is, the difference is that you're you're not getting any return on, all the, on, on, your, on the money you made on it already. And this is not a concept that's that's communicating effectively. <laughs> yes, yes, got it. Great. So yeah, so this is something that needs to be emptied as well. But yeah, it's a twelve hundred square feet home. Yeah. Well, you know, if they if they're pay, if they're if they if the pictures reflect 
an active tenant who's paying their rent, just keep taking the rest. <laughs> you know, otherwise it, we, it needs to be emptied and before it can be re released. Yes, yes. That one has a four micro countertop, but not the best. But you know, some of them have granite and you know and stuff like that. And you know, this is from the viewpoint of someone living in California. This is hog heaven. Yeah, I mean, um, for the price comparison, yeah, this is way way <laughs> cheap. <laughs> well, this that's is, the point. This is a down payment for all so many participants. No one's interested in hearing about this. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, this is a, uh, a down payment that you need for a house here, and you're buying an entire house for the for the down payment. <laughs> the house in well, California. You know, look, Rudy. You could take one month's earnings and buy five of these, not counting closing costs. So let's say four of these. You know. <laughs> I know, huh? Yeah. Right, right. Okay. I have a, I have a question. <clears throat> um, we don't have to pay cash for them. We can do a 20% or 25% down. Well, you can do a 20% down. That was my basic point. If you pay cash for them, um, you would only be making probably 8% return on your money. But by, um, by, by getting a, a loan, you make 24% on the bank's money. So you add that to your 8% and you're making 32% on your money. Cool. Look at that. This is excellent. <clears throat> yes. Look at this. For a hundred- you want, Rudy? I mean, uh, 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 you go. You're let, you're, 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 you have, your face is labeled Rudy. I know, yes. But since I can understand you, I figured you must be Hugo. Yeah, it, this is Hugo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is Hugo. I, I'm, I'm signed under Rudy's so I can have some control here. Okay. But yeah, look at this. This is excellent. Clean, nice, painted, in excellent well, condition. I, you know, I'm not guaranteeing they're all like that, but this is uh, you know, just a quick go through. And, and again, uh, if we find, if some of these aren't, Nice enough. We can always throw them away. There's, we have 18 that made this cut. Look at look at that bathroom. That nice tile work. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Hmm. No, this is definitely uh, uh, good opportunities. I mean, if if you are in the uh, thinking about you know investing, I think this is a great opportunity for you to do so without having to come up with a lot of money because you know you don't have to do it in california california is a little too expensive <laughs> well, it's not, the, Our, the big problem with california isn't that it's too expensive the big problem is the rents are too low are do you have properties other than east coast do you have like midwest or uh, i'm licensed in maryland and dc yeah, today is only maryland okay sheila yeah. Today, okay. we only did, well, the thing is, D.C., the prices are like California. It's, it, it's not a place for an investor. So far, Barry has brought us the cheapest homes for the highest <laughs> income. Rental. 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 Okay. Right. And the only referral I ever got from you was, was, was someone who wanted to live there. Yeah, right. I, I happen to know this area because I lived in Virginia, Maryland area for seven years. Oh, okay. So Me yeah. too. I'm a terrapin. <laughs> You're a terrapin. Okay. I'm a terrapin. I went to University go, of Maryland. <laughs> go Terps. <laughs> <laughs> How are you all doing? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, it was like 4,000 years ago, but yes, I'm a terrapin. <laughs> okay. I, I live in Stanton, Virginia and Shenandoah Valley. Oh, that's not quite the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so no. Not quite the same thing. It's this, like, is, like, this is great. Um, it's, little, it's, it's like in that movie, Basic Instinct, where Sharon Stone asked Michael Douglas for some Coke. And he says, I don't have any Coke, but I have Pepsi. And she says, it's not quite the same thing. <laughs> well, that was a long time ago, too. Yeah, but you know, she's posted some, some recent photographs. She still looks good. 
And that was 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. And Dolly yeah. Parton did a Playboy cover in 1978. And she still fits into that outfit. And she just posted. And the only, the only, the only real difference I noticed looking be between the, the one that she posted this week and the 78 photograph, different hair. She changed her hair. <laughs> That's it. Couldn't see any other difference. That's funny. So awesome. basically what we have here is I'm I'm a your soul your house soul guaranteed realtor in this area. I've got a top management company who's a client who will manage the properties and uh, and make them make money. And we got the properties. I got I've got a good lender, a good local lender who can make things happen. And his bank does not mind doing small loans. And I don't know what else you need. Yes. No, definitely. That sounds good. So, so anybody who is listening here today, uh, we have a complete package. If you're interested in getting into buying any of these homes, Barry will help us buy it, finance it, and manage it. Well, and I won't manage it. I have someone who will. Is you that will the real Rudy? The lower, the lower Rudy? Yeah, you will, you will bring us the management uh, yeah, I, I will send you to a good manager. Exactly. He's man I have him manage my property. Yeah, no, that's what I meant to say. That's what I meant to say, that you are bringing all of this to us. It's, a complete, it's the complete package. Right, right. You're not doing the, the loan either, but I'm, I'm, I'm not doing the loan either, but I got a good guy for that. And exactly. I can show up and do a Skype meeting and just do, do a video tour. There you go. You see, and the most important Part of this is that Barry knows the area. So he's, gonna, he's not gonna put you in an area that is not convenient for you, okay? Well, it's certainly be inconvenient if you're living in California, but it's gonna be an area that, where you can make money. I don't wanna use and the word that I'm willing to do, to do <laughs> on the property. Barry, Barry, I am not using words that I'm not supposed to use. That's why I say convenient, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Just say profitable. Okay, okay, there. there you go. So what I'm saying is we have a complete service here that you can only dream about in investing away from you. Many people are afraid to invest when you, you are not close to your property. But in this case, we have everything we need to make your investment a good investment, okay? Yeah. so. Barry is here to help us with all. I had one guy from New Jersey uh, bought two properties sight unseen. And then she showed mm -hmm. up for settlement. And I said, well, as long as you're in town, how about I take you through the two properties you, you're buying today? He said, okay. So I took him. He said, oh, I like them. I said, that's a good thing. <laughs> all things considered. Rudy, yeah. you should buy all 18 of these. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Well, if you if Rudy doesn't want them, how about you, Hugo? <clears throat> well, of I'm course. very interested. I'm very interested. What do I what do I need to do? Just um, you've got our you've got my contact information. Let's have a meeting, just the two of us, Leticia. Okay, that sounds good. Well, yeah, I have so your I have your oh shoot, where's my book? I have your uh, cell phone, yeah. right? Yeah, right. if any well, in the evenings, you always want to call us on the cell phones. We don't answer a landline in the evening. Okay, is four three three your cell phone? That is my cell phone, right here. And is your email b levy at yourhomesoulguarantee dot com? It is not. Oh, what is it? It's Barry at levyteam dot com. We can, we, we can do those details uh, offline, Sheila, okay? Um, okay. Yeah, so Sorry, if anybody know. needs the uh, contact information, just let me know. I have Barry's uh, information okay. so that we can get you into these deals for all, anybody who is interested. If anybody is online listening to us and they say, oh my God, I want those, yes. Uh, write down on, on the chat, write down, make, make your comment. I want these properties. How can I get 
how can I get them? And we <clears throat> will connect you with Barry, okay? okay. We are live okay. on Facebook as well. We're live on Facebook. And I'm sure we can sell this in one day, all of them. <laughs> well, let's do it. Yes, yes. Okie dokie. Well, Letitia, which email did you use? Is that that, that I'm, I'm not sitting at my computer, so I'm yeah. sitting at Ellen's computer, and she's got so many emails, I get lost. Don't don't worry about it. We'll we'll discuss those offline, Barry. Okay. Okay. Fine. Yeah. Any questions? Yeah. So if no, anybody, very, very if good you, info. Okay. Thank you all. Yeah. Anybody has any questions? Please. Uh, this is the moment for you to 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 ask your questions. But other than that, you will, you're not going to be able to find this great opportunities anywhere. Can you, can you scroll? Can you scroll down about an inch or so? I want, I want to point out, point out something. Go ahead. Can you can you scroll up an inch or so on the on the um, this? No, 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 just an inch. Stop. Um, scroll down a little bit more. Stop. More. Another one. Stop. Okay. Now this one here. This I'm not talking so much about this house, although it may be just fine. But you see where it says newly installed luxury vinyl floors, luxury vinyl plank. My recommendation is you always want to do your rental houses in luxury vinyl plank on flooring because it's indestructible. Uh, dogs won't, dogs can't scratch it. Uh, tenants who mis mistreat floors can't scratch it. Hardwood floors are, are even a little prettier but they require maintenance. You don't want maintenance. The whole, yes, your, whole, your whole procedure should be eliminating maintenance and eliminating um, expenses as much as possible. I've got a building where I, uh, I separated the hot water and I worked out, and I, was a five, I have a five unit building. I separated the hot water and I um, installed a whole bunch of luxury vinyl plank and um, by separating the hot water, the tenants pay for all their own hot water. And I've got, uh, we do a lot of heating here in the winter. And I've got landlord thermostats in Chicago thermostat so that um, basically the, um, the heat bill has gone a lot, has gone down a lot. We also insulated the building a lot. So the idea is get your utilities out because, uh, of course, on a single family, it's real simple, especially these row houses. Um, for about 600 bucks, you can insulate the attic and that's it, you're done. And now you've made, now you've brought you ten the tenant's utilities down a lot and let them pay all, let them pay all the utilities. Awesome. So that's well, kind of it. Okay, well, I'm done. I thank yes. you all very much. There's no yes, more thank questions. You. Thank you, uh, Barry. Thank uh, you, thank you very much. Our time thank is you. And, our time is also up and we thank everybody who's attended our, our meeting today and all of those who are on our live Facebook. Remember every fourth Thursday of every month, we have an investors club here at your home sold guaranteed realty in California. We offer this to all of our clients and anybody who wants to be one of our VIP clients, we welcome you, make, make your comment here I want to know more about it and we'll connect you with the right person. And if you're ready to make your first investment in the East Coast, we will put you in touch with Barry so that we can get this houses off the market and get more coming, all right? Well, I am honored to be part of Team Chin Sounds yes. good, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you, bye-bye now. All right, thank you, have a wonderful day and Thank you, everybody, and 